We're here in Texas. We got a good wind. It's going to be in our face where we're going, but I'm not taking any chances. I'm still spraying down pretty good. Can never use too much of this stuff. But Stephen Hurd's running camera. Him and I looked at a bunch of photos last night. It's opening day for bow season and uh, saw some good deer over here. We hunted this morning, saw a couple of nice deer. They were too young, but I know there's a couple of mature bucks going to where we're going to be hunting this evening. We have not been in there at all, hardly at all in the off season. We did a new setup over there recently. I'm fired up, man. The deer are hitting it hard. So we're going to go ahead and get out there. It's going to cool down a little bit later. I think we're going to be good. I'm fired up. Hopefully we can get a good buck down. At this point, I knew what deer it was, and I knew it was time to get nervous. Watch him. 
Folks, I got lucky on that shot. We reviewed the footage. Actually, it's a lot better than we thought it was. I deflected off of a limb, but I shot right in front of the shoulder. Cut an artery, blood went everywhere. By looking at it on slow-mo, so I'm excited about that. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at my arrow. We're gonna go ahead and put an Illumitech out. And we're gonna pull out of here and give the deer a little bit of time, maybe an hour or two, and then we're gonna come back and start trailing from there. Well, folks, here's the arrow right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's good blood all over the arrow. We're gonna go ahead and put an Illumitech out right here so we can mark that. And we'll come back to this spot and we'll be good. Let's put that right there. We'll be able to see that when we come up. We'll start trailing from there. We're gonna go ahead and go back to camp, give this deer another hour and a half. Then we'll come back. I think we're in good shape. I mean, I saw a bunch of blood on the ground here. It's just getting dark. We're going to pull out of here, get some proper lights. And we'll come back. We're going to get this deer. I'm excited. Let's go. Yeah, right here. He's bleeding good. I tell you what, this blood light that we're coming out with is, is really doing us some good. It's helping out a lot. Oh, there's good blood right here, too. Here we go. It's had to have been almost 175 yards by now. And that's what it looked like on film about that far and he jumped the fence, so somewhere in here. There's still blood here. And he's pumping out good blood. Okay, right here, there's a lot of blood right here. On the other side of the fence, there's blood. I'm gonna go ahead and put an Illumitac out right here. We'll mark this spot. We'll go ahead and cross the fence and we'll keep trailing. But I feel good about the blood we're finding. So let's go ahead and uh, go across the fence here. Yeah, there's some good blood here. Well, this, this deer's pumping out blood big time. That's where he came to the fence right here. Golly, look at this buck right here, folks. Oh my gosh. This is just a stud buck, typical 10 point. 12 inch G2s, 11 plus inch G3s. I mean, this buck has gotta be a 160. I don't know, maybe better. <laughs> just an unbelievable deer. My biggest buck ever, especially with a bow. And to take a buck like this with my bow, it's just incredible. Open and weekend for archery season here in Texas. Let alone to see a buck like this and then to be able to get on him is just incredible. And the way that this hunt went down, I'll never forget it, that's for sure. Had its anxious moments, this hunt. But fortunately enough, everything worked out. I mean, my arrow to get caught up and hit a limb that I didn't trim out of the way and to, to actually hit the deer well enough to, for it to leave a good blood trail for us to follow. It was just incredible. And man, the hunt just worked out. Just couldn't ask for more. First buck of the season. What a deer.